Well, hello there, YouTube. This is Video Effects Bros for a new After Effects tutorial and the second one. So let's go ahead and use part and learn how to use trap code particular in here. So let's start by adding trap code particular. And we have the emitter here. Let's make this comp uh, larger, actually. 10 seconds, maybe. And let's go ahead and merge this all. Select all this. Shift to boom it there. And let's go ahead and start. If you want trap code particular, you want to go ahead and uh, you have to download the plugin or buy it. And you can, here in the, the first thing we're going to go ahead and just see is the emitter. The particles per second, the amount of particles you want to emit per second. Maybe let's set it to 100, to 200. The position of the, uh, or the offset of the particles. The position of the Z, the position of the, of the uh, Z. It's practically the 3D position. And uh, we have the rotation, we have Y rotation, we have Z rotation. We have velocity, which is the expansion of the particles, the velocity randomness, which is the randomness, the velocity distribution, the velocity from motion, and if we set it to light, it will follow the light with the name emitter. But if you, for example, put the name to your light, light A, and let's go ahead, it will not follow the light. You see, it will not follow the light. So let's go ahead into options, right here into options. And change this light emitter name starts with um, light A, and boom it. There you go. If you had a lot of lights, uh, you create another trap code particular. You go to options, emitter. You duplicate the light, call it emitter, and now we have. emitters there we go yeah that's it so once that's there we can uh, start um, since we have the light here we can just the emitter size X the emitter size Y and Z lights intensity so let's, let's set it to none from the particle second modifier then we have the particle which is the life per second is the amount of particles per second. The life random, which is the amount of particles per second randomness. The glow sphere, types of particles, cloud LED, we have strict LED. And we can also apply a texture to our sprite, to our sprite uh, particular. So let's apply this fire that I got over here. If you can see it right there. And let's go ahead and make this a particle. So you, you go to texture after you put a uh, sprite and go to fire. So I have here a particular, another particular, particular, but particular preset called fire real. And we actually can see that this looks like real fire. If you can see. Here, you can turn on the. You go to particle, sprite, texture, and we set it to fire. Wait, fire. And there we have our fire. A little bit like realistic fire over there. Let's go ahead and move it. Now, if you move trap code particular, will actually. If you move the particles, trap with particular would actually. Uh, this is the motion of the particles, so. It's a realistic fire, if you can see, a little, a little realistic more. And we can just go ahead and delete this. There's a preset I saved. By, you, by the way, if you can go ahead and just save a preset, you go ahead and just click on the, on the effects that you want to save, and you go to animation, save animation preset. And you save it there. So, yeah, that's practically it. Let's go ahead and just follow this. 
the size of the particles, size randomness, the rotation, which includes only when the light, when you're operating with the light, random rotation, rotation speed, rotation speed on, X, Y, and Z, uh, size over life, which is the size with death and birth, right here. You can set it to there. Opacity, which is the opacity of the particles or the layer, if you can see there. The opacity randomness, which is the randomness. Opacity over life, which is the same as size, but in opacity. Set it to add, screen, whatever. So, particle shading, we have shading on. Set it to on the light, actually uh, emits on the particles. So, yeah, set it to non AE. So we want to set it AE. Let's turn it to off for now. Physics is air and bounce. We're gonna go ahead and just use air. In air, we have the air resistance, so they resist more to the air and the velocity. The spin, the spin amplitude, which is spin. The spin frequency, which is the amount of times they they actually uh, spin per second. Winds, wind X, which is the wind. Instead of moving them, you can go ahead and just set the wind. Uh, wind Z, for now. There we go. So, visualized fields is actually when you see them in 3D. Yeah. There's a turbulence field that affects size, affects position, when they move, fade in time, and everything, the scale. There's everything. So this is the scale of the turbulence field. So if you go ahead and just do this, just the scale, it moves with it. So yeah. And there's a spherical field, which is the strength of the first spherical field. Radius is this one. Uh, position C, the strength is the size. The radius, size, and we can go ahead and just go to bounce, the bounce settings. If, for example, if you have floor layer, let's go ahead and make it floor layer. Rotate it, make it 3D, and rotate it. If your particles actually Bounce the emitter, maybe the velocity. You can set it for it to actually physics. Go to bounce, bounce layer. There's a dark gray solid too. So they bounce. the gravity of the layers. So they bounce there. You can see they're bouncing. And you move it. Let's actually rotate this more. So you can go ahead and see it. They're bouncing with the layer. And there it goes, like it's a floor. So, you go ahead, and the, this is the bounce, so that's it for physics. And that's pretty much it for the Trapcode Particular plugin. You can create very much uh, cool effects. I'll be doing uh, more tutorials for the Particular plugin, but now that you have the basics, we can go ahead and start with another tutorials uh, with more advanced techniques. And cool effects. So this was Video Effects Bros and thank you for listening and watching the tutorial. Uh, I hope you get the best from this tutorial and rock out.